I've still got quite a few of these Savoy cabbages. I've left them in these packs for way too long. We're starting to get a right bend on the stem now. And they're discolouring a little bit. And that's probably lack of nutrients that's causing that. Because I've only got that little bit of compost since they started as a seed. And although it's a really horrible day, up to 45 mile an hour winds and sudden downpours as well, topped off with a little bit of thunder and lightning. English weather. But even though all that's going on, I've cleared out one of these oop tunnels and I'm going to put these in. Because if I don't, the plants are just going to be no good. I can only keep them in these packs for so long. So regardless of weather, I'm going to go out, I'm just going to put some in. And I'm going to plant them quite close together as well. Because the closer together you plant brassicas, the smaller head it will form. So if you don't want huge cabbages, which we don't because there's only two of us, then plant them about a foot apart rather than 18 to 24 inch recommended and then you can just harvest small heads of cabbage that you can eat probably in one sitting we'll go out we'll get some of these in and at least that's another set of plants out of way and another oop tunnel almost filled well this is that oop tunnel that i'm using and i've only gotten it a quick weed due to weather being like it is so we'll just try and get these in as quick as we can i'm going to do a really deep hole so when I drop that plant in, there's only that top bit left sticking out. Like that. And we've got rid of all that stretch by doing that. And then I'm only going about a foot away and doing exactly the same again. There's nothing wrong with earthing up your brassicas to get rid of stretch stems and then we're going to do the same distance again a foot and a really big hole and we'll just keep going get these plants sorted quickest you'll ever see me plant out. I've also got a couple of nice broccoli plants left so I'm gonna do the same with those nice big holes right in bury that stem And you can see I'm only leaving the very tops of these plants sticking out. I think two more and it'll do. At least for a day like this anyway. really earthing up around these plants. Best get this net back over as well. Oh. 
Well, it's a very rough day out there today. But, as always, we've got something else done. And we've got two rows of brassicas in there now that we've planted really close together because we're hoping to get small heads off them, not huge plants. And at least they're out of them trays. And now we've got a chance of a mount into something. But that's yet to be seen. Those peppers we did at the beginning of the year that turned out to be a bit of a disaster. They're trying to grow back now. And these have just been left in greenhouse. But initially we had a bit of a problem indoors and these plants got covered in aphids. And we had to treat them about four or five times in finish before we got rid. And eventually I just thought, put them outside. Maybe there's a few insects around that might fancy a few aphids for dinner. Plus, it were a bit disheartening to see these plants that we've been growing since the beginning of January to take a turn for worse like that. But because it's gone up a couple of degrees, and maybe now because they're getting natural sunlight, and maybe a few pests have got rid of some of the problems for us, they're trying to regrow. And this is another one, and it's doing exactly the same. As you can see, all these leaves, they just died and fell off. But, in that centre, new growth coming. And on this one, although it's going to be really difficult to see, this one's trying to grow a tiny little side shoot. Right there. So these leaves below, that don't look very good. As drastic as it seems, it's pinch those away and just leave yourself that if that happens to you. And then you can see a little bit more clearly that we have got some little side shoots trying to come through. So that might help that plant along. And maybe we'll get something out of these after all. And we've also had some cucumbers germinate. They're not very big at the moment, but they'll come on. And these are outdoor cucumbers called Market More, so they stand a lot better chance of actually doing anything than a regular cucumber. Because one little bit of cold that it's a regular cucumber plant, and they just fall over and die. We don't need a lot of cucumbers, to be fair, because you get that many cucumbers off one plant, and there's only two of us in house, so two or three plants is more than enough for us. We're now starting to see a little bit of size on us tomato plants as well. Once again, they've grown so slowly this year. But at least we're seeing something. And it'll be time to move this one on. Because the roots are trying to come out at the bottom already. And we don't want to restrict this plant any more than the weather has done this year. And it's not time to be planting your tomatoes in ground yet. It's still too cold. We don't heat any of those greenhouses. So, they're constantly open to elements. But I'm just going to move this one on. Because it seems like it's really trying. And we can have a look at roots as well. So we've got a few roots growing on this one. But, not loads. But what I'll do is, I'm going to take away some of that bottom and top the potato plant up and then we're exposing more of that root system and again we can bury it a little bit deeper because you can keep doing that as many times as you want to make stronger plants and as I've mentioned before even when they're in the ground in your greenhouse you can earth up around the base of those plants but I think just for today just this one because these ones are as Italian plum tomatoes that we've been looking forward to growing. So, that's moved on. Plenty of space to grow until we eventually get to that point where we can put them in ground or in containers. And because it's now reached that size and it's got a few sets of true leaves, now we're going to offer it a bit of tomato food as well. And that should encourage them to grow even quicker. So for a miserable Easter bank holiday Monday, 
as always, we're still in here and we're still getting jobs done and that's all that matters. And that's why I'm in here seven days a week. We've got quite a few jobs done today. The weather's terrible. The winds are getting worse and we've got more rain coming this way. So that's it for me today. I'm gonna to pop back inside and I'll be back tomorrow with some more jobs to do. And if you want to see what they are, please hit that subscribe button and press that notifications bell. And we'll see you then. Take care.